It seems like the stock market is more volatile and violent than ever before. Gone are the days when you see a 1% green or red day in the market. Nowadays, it seems like every single day is just either complete panic and chaos and just complete selling pressure, or you just have a bunch of people flocking into the market all at once, FOMOing in, trying to buy up as much as possible. The main thing is the stock market's so volatile and just crazy right now, where it has a very, very bad and scary problem heading into the future if things don't change. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. So let's get right into it. So check out this uh, little chart I just drew for an easy example. We can see that a couple months ago, yeah, the stock market was falling, but it wasn't quite falling like it is now. It wasn't falling at the exact magnitude that it is now. We can see that over the past couple of months, it, the market has just gotten a lot more volatile and just extreme. So basically, there are a couple of reasons for this. We can see like in the initial stages of a sell-off, like yes, you see stocks falling and there's panic and you know prices decline. But when you get into like the more developed stages of a market crash, the days become more violent and volatile for a couple reasons. The first thing is that normally, let's say you have X amount of people looking to buy stocks every month. If you have a bunch of fears about a recession and a possible market crash disaster and all that stuff, it deters those people from buying. So basically, you have less buying pressure coming into the market because of increased fear and just investor pessimism. And then another thing is you have people who don't even want to sell their stocks being forced to sell their stocks because of margin calls. So check this out. Let's say we go down here. This is a simple example I made. But let's say you had someone who had $10,000 that they were looking to invest in the market on January 1st of 2022. And let's say they bought stock ABC at $100 each and they used margin to increase their potential returns. Everyone from retail traders to hedge funds to other institutions use margin from time to time to increase their potential returns, but with what comes with that is increased risk. So let's say you have this person who had $10,000 and they borrowed another $10,000 and they just put that into stock ABC, which was at $100 on January 1st of 2022. Let's say June 16th comes along and now stock ABC went from $100 all the way down to $45, a giant drop. And that sounds terrible, but... Believe it or not, stocks, a lot of stocks are down a lot more than that even. So everything from the S&P 500 to growth stocks to even powerhouse companies like Meta, which is formerly known as Facebook, are down a ton. Meta's down nearly 60% from their highs. Amazon's down around 50%. Don't even get me started on Netflix or some of those other plays because they're just brutal. Like Netflix went from 700 down to 162 like even multi-billion dollar, multi-billion dollar powerful companies are down a ton. So it's not unrealistic to see a 55% drop in this example. So anyways, let's say the portfolio value was at $20,000 when stock ABC was at 100. Now that stock ABC is at 45, the portfolio value would drop all the way to $9,000 and the person behind this portfolio would be forced to sell everything they have even if they don't want to because they are getting margin called. Basically, this person, not in this example, they would lose all of their money because the stock that they went all in on and used a loan to buy that fell by 55%. So not only did this person lose their $10,000, but they also lost $1,000 from the margin loan and they also had to worry about like margin interest fees. So basically, the main thing to take away is that when stocks fall, the sell-off tends to get more exaggerated and more violent because you have the people who use the leverage sometimes being forced to sell. And it's not just retail traders who are stuck in this situation. Even hedge funds get stuck in this situation from time to time. And with hedge funds, instead of you know being forced to sell, let's say nine or $10,000 worth of positions, they're being forced to sell hundreds of millions of dollars of positions, if not billions. So keep that in mind. So when you see stocks falling at a rapid pace, it, of course, it's just like a snowball effect. Like it causes less people to even buy in because there's more fear. You have margin calls coming in. 
And then by that happening, stocks fall even more, which causes even more margin calls to come in and even more fear to happen, which causes even less people to want to buy. So it gets all out of control. And then on top of all of that, just like we saw in the COVID crash of 2020, algorithmic trading has been growing so much over the past couple of years, and it has added a ton of volatility to the markets. For those of you who were trading back in 2020, the volatility was insane and very confusing at a lot of different points. For a couple weeks or even a couple months there, for some reason, every single day, 10 minutes before market closed, there would be a gigantic move out of nowhere, and that was caused by algorithms. There have, many, there have been many other instances in the market where algorithms just screw things up and things get out of control, but when things get volatile, these algorithms and computers also play a giant role into just crazy, crazy movement. A lot of times they exaggerate the move that's already happening. So you might see the market down 4%, but then you know the algorithms kick in with, with their selling positions. And before you know it, the market might be down 6 or 7%. So just keep that in mind. Um, another thing I want to illustrate is that while these events are weird and crazy, they do prevent or they do provide a lot of opportunity in two main ways. The first one is while everyone else is panicking and freaking out and being forced to sell, that presents an amazing opportunity for you to buy in at low prices. And of course, no one's gonna be able to catch the bottom, but if you are buying a good company at a good price, if you let time do its thing and as long as you're willing to hold, good things will happen. Another way to take advantage of this situation is that volatility will increase. So that preside, that prevents or that provides a lot of great opportunity to day trade options and stocks, both to the upside and the downside. What's really cool is that if you trade options, normally volatility and implied volatility increases during this time, which makes it that much easier to profit with options because the options premiums just fly up. So basically, when you see this volatility, it provides a lot of opportunity in the short term for day traders because you know you just see much larger defined and powerful moves, which you know prevent, obviously provides a bunch of day trading opportunity, but also too for those of you who are looking for like medium to longer term trades, there's a lot of great stocks at great levels right now. And even, even though no one knows the bottom, it would be a smart thing to at least slowly buy in. Even if you think the stock market's gonna fall more, it doesn't hurt to at least buy a little bit for a long-term portfolio because you never know. This might be the bottom, no one knows. Um, you know, Probably not, but you know, it doesn't hurt to start a long-term portfolio. So definitely keep that in mind. Margin calls are a crazy thing and they only continue, like, it's just like a giant snowball effect. Once you see a couple institutions or people have margin calls, um, it just causes the stocks to fall even more and then that causes more and more people and institutions to have margin calls. So the main thing to keep in mind is that as we continue to see stocks fall, the situation almost always gets more volatile and worse because it causes other people and other traders to also be forced to sell. So keep that in mind. I hope you guys learned something from this video. Um, if you guys like these little illustrations on the whiteboard, let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. Um, let me know what stocks you're watching. And like I said, if you like the video, make sure to subscribe. Besides that, let's have a great week.